So for the second part of my allegedly delicious and sustainable bug recipe, um, I'm going to make a risotto. In fact, I'm halfway through making the risotto. It started in the classic way of a chopped onion and a clove of garlic, fried gently until the onion is transparent, and then you add the risotto rice, which I've done, but I added it with the other half of the packet of mushrooms. You have to stir it with the mushrooms and the rice for about three minutes. You put in 100 ml of white wine and 400 ml of vegetable stock. And if you don't want to use wine, that's fine. It works perfectly well with 500 ml of vegetable stock. And now this has to bubble away gently until the rice is cooked and all the liquid is absorbed. So our bug risotto has now um, had 20 minutes cooking without the bugs. Don't forget the bugs are still in the oven but they're coming out now. And once the rice is al dente, just um, with a little bit of bite to it but obviously cooked, then you want to finish it off. Another thing that came in the packet was a little packet of mixed dried herbs salt, pepper. I must apologize for this blue finger here. Guess what? I cut it with my knife. Nearly all the, well, no, all the parmesan. Whoops. <laughs> Brilliant. 50 grams of grated parmesan. I haven't got any creme fish, so I'm going to put a big splash of cream in instead. That goes into the dish. Out come the crickets and the roasted mushrooms. They need to go on top. Maybe a bit more grated parmesan and a bit of parsley. I'm a great believer in roughly chopped. The crickets have lots of protein, so it's thoroughly worthy. But is it delicious? That's what really matters. Do you know what? It's the most delicious mushroom stroke porcini risotto with a bit of crunch. You can't really taste the crickets. In fact, you can, I can't taste them at all, especially not against the porcini and the mushrooms, which are very strong. But they add a crunchiness, which is delicious on top. And they're very good for you. And one day we'll be eating lots of them.